What is going on guys? Welcome to Greggles TV Daily. We have a kind of slow news day today, but I want to run through what to expect if you're going to get the Galaxy Z Fold 3 in, in terms of specs, price, features, things like that. Um, we've kind of done this in the past and it's changed a little bit since I've last done it. And uh, the Galox has been nice enough to put out a couple of tweets that have detailed basically every rumor and you know leak that we've heard about and seen so far. Uh, so let's talk about it. All right, so let's start off with the, the big meaty parts first. So the Samsung Galaxy. So let's start off with some big meaty parts. This is a little breakdown of the Galaxy Z Fold 2 versus the Z Fold 3. So the numbers on the left versus the one on the right will be the Z Fold 3. So on the left here, we got a 6.2 inch, 60 inch with the Z Fold 2. And then the Z Fold 3 will have a new 6.23 inch, 120 hertz AMOLED display. And then on the Z Fold 3 again, the big display on the inside is going to be 7.55 inch and it's gonna be made of glass versus kind of like a plastic type feeling on there. Again, 120 Hertz QXGA plus AMOLED display. You're looking at the processor bumping up now to Snapdragon 888. 12 gigabytes of RAM, which would stay current with what we've got uh, currently on these phones. And then storage looking at 256 or 512 gigabytes. Um, 256 is the normal number in most parts of the world right now. The battery is gonna see a little bit of a decrease down to 4380 milliamps, but Hopefully with a newer processor and improved software overall, we should see hopefully a uh, better performance or at least st similar performance to what we saw before. In terms of colors, you're gonna get the Phantom Black, Phantom Green, and Phantom White colors for the Galaxy Z Fold 3. Cameras, you're gonna have a triple 12 megapixel setup on the back there. Unfortunately, it does not look like we'll probably end up getting a huge zoom lens, which a little bit of a disappointment. I don't use it all the time, but it would be nice to be able to get that zoom lens, you know, for moon shots and things like that. The front selfie camera will be a 12 megapixel and then a 16 megapixel under display camera on the bigger part of the display. And remember that 16 megapixel under display camera, there's been rumors going back and forth that it won't be that amazing. Um, so just keep that in mind. It might not look as good as previous phones that have had it, have cameras. The uh, S Pen support will be there. So we should be able to get full S Pen support on this Galaxy Z Fold 3. I would also expect the S Pen to have Bluetooth support so that you can use it as a camera shutter button or as a uh, director of like moving, uh, doing the, the uh, the motions in the air to control your phone. In terms of folds, like the durability, it's looking like it's looking like the Z Fold 3 is rated up to 220,000 folds versus 200,000 folds on the Z Fold 2. So that's kind of nice. It'll get a little bit more durability. You're looking at the charging staying at 25 watt charging and 15 watt wireless. Uh, the flex mode is going to upgrade to 2.0, not too sure what exactly what you're going to get extra with the flex mode 2.0 which is basically when you kind of bend the phone in half a little bit but keep it open it's going to have a smaller crease on the z fold 3. it's going to have a lighter weight at 269 grams so about 13 grams lighter than the previous generation stereo speakers it would be nice if they had quad speakers price wise there's rumors going back and forth but um, I think the, the the general consensus is the 256 would go for about $15.99 or $16.99, somewhere in that range. And then the 512 would go for about $17.49, maybe all the way up to $18.49. And then there potentially would be a special edition that would go for about $3,000, which is absolutely ridiculous when you think about it. Now, overall, the Z Fold 3 is looking to be probably the most polarizing Z Fold phone as of this t at this time being released because it seems like every iteration has been an upgrade. And in some regards, you could probably look at the Z Fold 3 not being an upgrade. It's got a slightly smaller battery, not really anything that big. The camera underneath the larger display is supposed to, at least from rumors anyway, not be as good as say this camera that's on right now. I mean, but you're also getting some other upgrades. You're getting the S Pen, you're getting a newer processor, potentially more storage and options on there. Um, no, no, seeing no camera potentially on the main display. So like there's upgrades to be had for the phone, but there's also maybe a little bit of downgrade. The cameras being only 12 megapixels across the board. I don't know, what do you guys think? Tell me what you think. Is it a polarizing device, the Z Fold 3? I know some of you are like, I'm not getting it and you were getting it. Let me know, have you changed your mind about getting it, yes or no? And if you did, why? Put it in the comments down below. Thanks for watching, have a great day and we'll see you down the road.